All right, we are back here on WISN 12 News this morning. Before tomorrow's Packer game, you can help feed the hungry. Sargento Foods hosting Touchdowns for Charity. They will be outside Lambeau Field collecting non-perishable food items for the Hunger Task Force. And here to talk about that today is Chef Ulrich Kolberstein of Sargento. Great, thank, thank you. Thank you for being here. Great to be here. Thanks a lot. We have quite the setup here this morning. We'll get to this in a second. Right. But talk to us about Touchdown for Charity. So Touchdown for Charity has been going now for 15 years. Mm -hmm. And in 15 years, we've raised about $1.2 million. Wow. Last year alone, 112000 So how that works is for every touchdown that the Packers score mm -hmm. during the regular season and then into the playoffs and hopefully all the way to the final, right? Yeah. We want to stretch this as long as we can. Absolutely. Sargento donates $1,500 to Touchdown for Charities. For every touchdown. For every single one. Wow. So the more they score, the better. The longer the season goes, the better. We just want to give them all more money. Right. That money then is taken and is given to Paul's Pantry mm -hmm. and Task Force Hunger. Task Force Hunger right down here in Milwaukee. And that is used to feed the needy, the people that, you know, in our own community that need food. What an amazing program. And well, hopefully Aaron Rodgers throws six touchdowns tomorrow. <laughs> Packers come out with a win and we it, donate it, a lot of money. It's amazing. You see Louie and Lou, they get so excited with every touchdown and they are so happy to write up the Absolutely. check, which is great. So yeah. what we're going to do on uh, tomorrow, yeah. so if you're going up to the game, stop by to the tailgate section. We'll be up there and we'll be there with William Henderson, who of course is yep. one of the uh, Hall of Famer yeah. uh, Packer players. He will be up there with us. Uh, bring some canned food, mm -hmm. some non-perishable food up there with you. Donate it. If you don't feel like walking through the parking lot with cans of food, bring your wallet. Mm -hmm. we'll, we'll take your money. We're happy to take Donations, that too. Right? Make a little donation. <laughs> you can have your photo taken, have an autograph, uh, uh, have him sign something mm -hmm. for you as well, which is great. And then stop by and we will be feeding you. So we will give you a little bit of what we've created here today. And I wish TVs had smell of vision because this studio smells amazing. This is 15 different cheeses, right. mac and cheese. So we figured for 15 years of Touchdown for yeah. Charities, we should create something that ties in with that. So this is kind of like a, a mashup food. So Genius. mashup food is where people take things that work really well mm -hmm. together and put them together. So think of like, uh, you know, putting a uh, hamburger on pizza. It works. Why think not? Of, yeah. Think of <laughs> taking uh, taco and doing Korean food and putting mm -hmm. the two together. It works. So what we've done here is we've created a 15 cheese mac and cheese. We put it into a taco and put some barbecue <sighs> over the top. It's really simple to make. So I've, what I've done is I've started it. Got a little head start here. But what is in here is a roux that we've turned into a bechamel. It sounds complicated. Mm -hmm. It's not. Go to our website, sargenda.com. The recipe is on there. All that that is, it's one stick of butter, okay. which is... Uh, half a cup, sure. half a cup of flour, that is put into the pan. You stir that and you get that kind of going and you mm -hmm. cook out the flour, that's called a roux. Okay. And what that basically does, it creates the glue that holds the sauce together. And then we start adding three cups of cream. So half a cup of butter, half a cup of flour, three cups of cream. That's Simple. all you need. And you slowly start adding the, cre uh, the, the milk into the roux mix. Yeah. And that is going to be the sauce that holds everything together. Because mm -hmm. if you think of when you heat sauce, uh, cheese up, you separate the liquid. Right and from the solid part. You don't want that. Yeah. You want to create this environment that suspends the cheese okay. in the sauce. And that's what this uh, vegetable yeah. sauce does. So what we've done is we haven't just taken kind of nilly-willy cheeses. We've said what works well when you're making, you know, uh, mac and cheese. Right. So let's get the mac and cheese in there so mac that it can heat there. up. So um, this is about six cups of okay. macaroni. So when you're cooking it, the, the ratio of how that cooks out is approximately between four and six to one, depending on what kind of uh, pasta you're cooking. So, and Ulrich, I'm sorry, we're running out of yeah. time, but we got the mac and cheese in there to throw the cheese right. and the barbecue, so right? So 60, 15 different cheeses on there from three different ones. We got our for authentic five cheese Mexican, we've got our four cheese state cheddar, and we've got our six cheese Italian. They all go in there. Put that in with some barbecue. And we'll make some up taco. for you. Put it in the taco. Oh, man, I can't wait to try this. And if you're up at tomorrow at Lambeau Field, you'll be able come to see this. Absolutely. Yeah. Come and see us up there. Thank you so much for coming in today. He's going to continue to cook as I continue to take deep breaths and breathe this in. If you want more information about Touchdowns for Charity, all you have to do is visit WISN.com.